Keza lava to Puza Nam, squad deep, Navanga Niba. Poza lava, poza e. Make you better than your fame. South side with a combo. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is check my phone. Um, I've got an extremely crazy mom. And uh, yeah, I have to like check in with her a lot because I live on my own now. So that's the first thing I do. I check my phone. Um, so the, my, I mean, uh, one of my greatest inspirations had to be uh, growing up in the south side of uh, Johannesburg, uh, so it's to be specific, moving around. Um, so often when I look for inspiration, I go back home, I show the people I grew up with, um, I listen to nostalgic music, and I guess that's where my inspiration is from. It's, it's genuinely from my society, uh, from where I grew up. Me with a top down bro, I see B with a little bit of hope. We can be obese 120 on the stove. Bam, bam. Uh, what I'd like to change about the industry is that I'd like to see a lot more uh, of female hip hop artists hitting the mainstream. There's so many talented young females, um, the Dirts, Dynasty, there's so many of them who are extremely talented and who just need a little bit of us um, opening up the industry. So that is something I'll change. I ain't even try to act humble. Oh, okay, so the story behind my tattoos, I love this. Okay, the story behind my tattoos is um, on um, Egyptian mythology. I'm super obsessed with that. So, um, a lot of people think this is Illuminati. It's not Illuminati, guys. This is the Eye of Ra, and it's equivalent to what the Christians look at as being the cross. So, the idea that God can see you everywhere, all the time, and He's always present in your life. Then, I've got a tattoo on my sternum area. Okay, nobody can use it, but it's of Cleopatra, and the reason it's on my sternum area is because when Cleopatra passed on, um, she was bitten by a cobra on her sternum area. So that's the reason I put Cleopatra on my sternum area. And it's also a very, um, you know, like, very sensitive spot, place for me, <laughs> that no one can see. And of course I've got the Ankh. The Ankh is on everlasting life, the idea that you'll never die, and I'd like to believe that musically one day my, you know, my music will supersede my life. Um, and I'll always be there, I'll be immortal. And then the last one, which I'm hoping is my final one that nobody can see, it's on my ankle. Um, it's of a trident. So a trident is um, basically a fork, a weapon that's used um, in the sea by mermaids. So yeah. Southside with a combo, be the dummy like a Congo. Which artist would I like to share a stage with? I'm super upset because I heard Lauren Hill um, came in. I, I love Lauren Hill. I feel like she's a pioneer. There's so much messaging behind her, um, you know, her music, and she's just a very um, safe yet relatable brand. So definitely Lauren. Hill. Um, Keza lava to puza nam, squad deep na banga ni bam, south side with a cheese at, mouse trap with a fiend at, honey boo with a bees at, I see you with the mean rats, get with me or you lean back, lean back. Yeah, that's my first one. Okay, just a little bit. Composer of the guys, please go out and download it. It's doing really well. <laughs>